On paper, the Pixel 2's camera doesn't seem much better than the dual camera on the iPhone 8 Plus. But Google says it's the best, yet again. We're proud to announce that DxO Mark has issued Pixel 2 an unprecedented score of 98. What does it claim to do better? Last year's Pixel had Google's HDR Plus image processing, which takes multiple shots at the same time, and then combines the best elements of each into one. The shots look incredible, especially in low light, and this year, Google has perfected the technology for an even better result on the Pixel 2. The Pixel 2 also uses what Google calls fuse stabilization. It's basically Google jargon that means it's using both optical and digital stabilization for smoother video and potentially sharper low light than its predecessor. The iPhone relies on optical only. Google didn't exactly say the Pixel had a better portrait mode than the iPhone, but it did say it can do it with one camera using machine learning. And it can do it on both the back and front camera. The iPhone 8 Plus only has it on the back camera. To get it on both, you have to wait for the 10. And what's great about the Pixel is that both the cheaper 2 and the more expensive 2XL have all these features. Because you'll get the same great experience on both, we don't set aside better features for the larger device. Plus, you get more storage. Google is offering free unlimited storage on Google Photos with every purchase, in full resolution so you don't have to lose quality. Well, unlimited until 2020, that is. Then it'll start compressing the files. And the camera will also be able to answer the muffin or chihuahua question? Because the Pixel 2 is debuting Google Lens. It's a feature that uses Google Assistant and machine learning to recognize images and text around you. It's kind of like what Samsung tried to do with Bixby Vision. And it'll have augmented reality capabilities with Google's AR Core, similar to what the newer iPhones can do with Apple's AR Kit. Apple has the floating heart and Google has Stranger Things. But these are still claims, and we won't know who the real camera winner is until we put them to the test.